BFL London Film Festival 2022. We're here for Till, for that grape juice, and I'll be here on the red carpet today, interviewing the cast, the crew, and just getting down to the nitty gritties of how amazing this movie is. It's that grape juice, Samuel Any. You deliver such a powerful and compelling performance in this movie. How was it like preparing? For this. Overwhelming a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, there's so much to do. Um, working with Shania, we dug into the script over and over and over. And more importantly, digging into Mamie's memoir, mm -hmm. the, um, the book called Death of Innocence that she co-wrote with Christopher Betsy. And and so that's that was a kind of Bible because those are her words mm -hmm. and her history. I was synthesizing all that stuff and thinking about my own personal history, growing up in Atlanta, understanding a certain civil rights legacy and having been reared in it. Um, I just brought all those things together a bit more to, to engage with them. How was it like being around the cast, around the members? How did they help you kind of prepare and how did it feel just being on set with them as well? Yeah, we had a good time. I'm not going to lie. Like, <laughs> you're looking for the opportunity to have levity. You're looking yeah. for the opportunity to have joy. We sang, we joked, mm -hmm. we, we danced. Um, we did all of those things. Yeah. And yet, everybody was taking great care of each other. Yeah. Everybody was taking good, great care of me. Mm -hmm. like a lot of me. They knew the weight that I was that I was in, in dealing with. And I would say the cast and the crew did that. This is such a powerful movie, and there's already a hint of a bit of Oscar buzz around it. I know, I know, I know, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. so, I don't know what I'm talking about. Why you left? Like you even say nothing about it? I can't say nothing about it. Nothing? All right. That's absolutely. No, I, I mean, I think that any kind of sports talk is really, really lovely. Um, but more importantly, people are being asked to witness this film. Yeah. And, I, and if you're going to talk about me, then you're going to talk about Mamie too. And yeah. that's what's supposed to happen. This is such a powerful story as well. It touches people, every race, every genre, every ethnicity, everyone around the world can feel the presence of what this case meant to society. Exactly. So what's the one thing you want people to take away from this story? But I want them to learn and be educated because unfortunately there are many of us in society today who don't know of this story and, mm. and what it has brought and the change it has brought. This is kind of a wake up call. Uh, this, this story was almost six seven years ago mm -hmm. and it's still relative now mm -hmm. and that should say something mm -hmm. and, and that should uh, inspire change mm -hmm. big yeah. sam yeah you know this one's different isn't it? big sam this one's different <laughs> this one's different <laughs> tell us a bit about the role and how you brought about your style and your yeah. expertise to make up yeah, yeah. was one of the co-founders of the uh NAACP he was one of yeah. the pioneers of the movement um so yeah he was just basically there to serve Mammy too. They kind of had like a, a brotherly sister relationship, and like you know, his wife told me that they had that relationship. So mm. that's the energy I just tried to portray. We're far away from Emmett's case right now, right. but society still got so much to do in terms of just kind of rectifying and just getting better. Would you? How do you hope that this film helps bring about that? Hopefully, people just do something, you know. Like hopefully, we can shift someone in it, shift someone's thinking, and hopefully, mm. inspire someone to kind of step up and. But the good cause, you know what I mean? So, we're lack of some leaders, so hopefully some people kind of step up and for the people that are fighting a good fight, you know, just encourage them to keep on going, you know? What's the one thing you want people to take away from it? Courage. Um, the pursuit of social justice and how difficult that is, but how courageous one must be to make sure that that happens. The existential tragedy of this film is its relevancy, not just in America, but all over the world. So I think it's an important film and we must stick to these ideas of social justice. You look amazing. Thank you. Absolutely incredible. Samuel. Samuel. I am Nigerian. I knew it. Yes. I knew it. I am Nigerian. Like, you look like my cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I love your energy, honestly, absolutely amazing. <laughs> but tell me, was that the same with resonating with the cast? And it, looked, it sounded like it was fun talking to Danielle, talking to Tosin. We definitely respected the seriousness and the somberness of the story that we were telling. And yeah. there were moments we were shooting where it was complete silence to respect the sanctity of what we were doing. Mm. And there are moments of joy in the film and mm. love and community. And I'm very intentional about my joy. Yeah. And one of the things, I, one of the messages I wanted to communicate in my film was that there is a light inside of us, particularly as black people, that yeah. cannot be extinguished mm -hmm. no matter what mm -hmm. they try to do to us. Yeah. And I bring that energy to set. Mm -hmm. Let's be in joy, let's be in community, let's, yeah. let's, let's care for each other. So what would you say you'd want the audience when they see this movie to take away from it? I hope that this, I hope audiences are activated. 
activated to be change agents in whatever way is best for their personal circumstances. I hope that they are activated to learn more about the people in the film. I hope that they are particularly audiences of color are activated to not only affect change but to do so while in a space of joy because that is also a form of resistance. There's a hint of Oscar buzz around in it already so far. What's your takeaway on that? I mean, listen, any awards will help to bring more people to the film and elevate Mamie's name and elevate her legacy. And so that gets me really excited. I appreciate you. I know you. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> where, are you from? where are you from? Yoruba. My mom's from Ikorodo. Okay, I'm from Emo State. Okay. Yeah, this year's lineup is the most diverse yet. How did it feel for London to host such an amazing event? Well, the London Film Festival is incredibly important. One of the great things about our film festival is how diverse it is. Mm -hmm. Because it's about who's telling the stories, who's producing the films, who's directing the films, who's in front of the cameras. Mm -hmm. It's really important. And the, the movie I chose for the Mayor's Gala performance was Till. Really important movie. Many people may know about the story of Emmett Till, but this movie has got a great black director, mm -hmm. uh, Chonye Chukwu, really important. We've got talent behind the camera that's black, but talent in front of the camera as well that's diverse uh, and representative. And the story of Emmett Till, uh, yes, it was in the 1950s, yes, it was in Mississippi, but it's as relevant today as it was then. You can't divorce the past from the uh, present. There's still racism across the globe, uh, you know, including in London mm -hmm. in 2022. I think there are lessons for all of us to learn how to be good allies, yeah. how to be not just not racist, but how to be an anti-racist, but also mm -hmm. to recognize if you're complacent, at least to George Floyd being murdered, it leads to Stephen Lawrence being murdered. So I'm hoping as many people as watch as possible watch this movie. Mm -hmm. And I'm incredibly humbled to have this movie as the Mayor's Gala performance. Thank you very much for your time, Cheers, sir. Appreciate it.